Well, turning back to the weather now, of course, we've seen a lot of rain mm -hmm. lately, Emily, and we've got more on the way yep. later this week and into the weekend. So I thought it'd be a fun time to do a fun little science project. We're going to be making our own rain gauge with things you can find in your own house or outside your house. And we're going to show you how to do it right here. All right, Christian, take it away. All right. So first up, we're going to need a two liter bottle. And I actually really want to quickly pull up the list of materials that we need for this. It's not a whole lot of things, but they're all things you can usually pretty easily find around your house. So starting off, we got the two liter bottle. We're going to need ruler, some scissors, a cup of rocks, tape, either masking or painters, although we're using duct tape and I think that will work just fine <laughs> as well, and paper clips and a cup of water as well. And if you can uh, see here, we've got all of those materials out here. You can see our water, our rocks. We've got a ruler, one for me and Emily, some paper clips, a Sharpie. I did not have that on the list, but a Sharpie needed as well, and some tape also. So first up, we're going to cut the top off of our two liter bottle. Now me and Emily already, you know, stabbed we into did. the bottle, so that way we could, you know, kind of cut it a little bit quicker. So definitely if you have kids, make sure you're watching them because we exactly. had some close calls already. Yes, so. or maybe, you know, just do it yourself. Maybe an adult should be doing this. Yes. Um, or, uh, you know, a, a knife, like a, a box cutter, yes, would also exactly. work really, really Arts well for crafts. this, I think. Yes, exactly. So we cut the top of the bottle right where about like the label would be or where it gets to its widest points. You know, the bottle has the narrow part at the top, comes down to the widest part of the bottle, cut where it just gets to that widest part. So we're gonna cut all the way around, try to make it as neat as possible. Maybe uh, putting a line on there might help, but it doesn't have to be exact. And <laughs> there we go, look at that, top of the bottle. Now we've got our empty bottom. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to put some rocks into the bottom. And this is only really going to serve to weigh it down. So, you know, if it's breezy, like we're going to see with mm -hmm. the nor'easter this weekend, uh, it will not blow over or blow away. So about a half inch or so of rocks. I literally just walked around the station and just found all of these rocks. So yeah, just walk around your house, find some, you know, small sized rocks and uh, put them in the bottom here. Here we go, that and seems like enough. And I will take the rest. Just take the rest, Emily. All right. And you have pretty rocks at the end of it. Exactly, you got something pretty to look at, you know, these, <laughs> the beautiful rocks of our parking lot yeah. here. All right, next up we're going to take the water and we're going to pour in enough just to cover up the rocks. So once they're covered, uh, you should have enough water. We're just about there. Here you go, Emily. Maybe you'll need a pitcher for this. Yes, or we, a, water a pitcher, bottle. a cup of water, or a water bottle will work fine, or okay. maybe even just the sink would work fine as well. All right, now we've got our nice little base. This water line is going to be your zero line. Of course, when we have the rain gauge, you don't want to measure this water as the rain. So this will be our zero line, and then all the water on top of that that falls on the rain gauge, that will be uh, how much rain we got. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little tops of our bottles. Mm -hmm. We're going to put them inside here and kind of wedge oh, it in there. They fit kind pops, of perfectly too. It pops too. right in. It does fit really perfectly. You probably don't even need paper clips to secure it, but uh, maybe some paper clips might help to keep it secure so that way you don't. And you be know. safe because what if you get in a lot of rain and then it knocks over, you know, or exactly. it begins to shift down. Exactly. So you can sort of see the rain gauge now coming together and a two liter is what's recommended because the National Weather Service for their official measurements, they use a four inch or eight inch rain gauge and this is about that when it comes to the diameter uh, of the rain gauge. Now how are we going to measure the rain? This is where the tape and the ruler comes in handy. So I already cut a little length of tape here. Again you can just grab some tape and cut off a length of it and then I take against my ruler. I tried this against the bottle directly. I was wondering if you could do it without the tape. I did find it was a lot easier because of course the bottle's round, so it's really kind of hard to measure accurately against the bottle. And so we're gonna take this tape. Measure a little bit. And we're gonna carefully put it on the edge of the ruler. And Emily's cutting her length right there. Just cut mine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure out uh, each quarter inch. You could probably do each half inch to inch, but the more accurate measurements, of course, will have uh, the smaller measurements here. So quarter inch, probably a good way to go here. So quarter inch marks up the tape. Three fourths of an inch, one inch, quarter inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch, quarter, half, three fourths of an inch, one inch, quarter, half, 
three fourths of an inch, one inch, quarter, half, three fourths of an inch, one inch. And you want to do about eight inches? Yeah, is that about wide? eight inches or so, uh, or you know, as much as you can fit on the bottle. So that that does tend to be right around eight inches uh, or so here. So. Sweet. And you're definitely going to want to need your paper clips because I'm already having the trouble with it staying. All right, good. So paper yeah, clips so are definitely a must or Some sort tape. of security for the bottle. And here you go, Emily, I'm going to let you. I'm going to do an every inch. All right, to every speed inch. It up a yeah, just speed bit. it up just a little bit. All right, so now we've got our tape. You can see all of my little markings along the edge there. And Emily's got hers One, with every inch. Two. I didn't, didn't label mine exactly, but you can see all the little markings there. I've got on the edge of the tape. Okay, sweet. Perfect, and Emily's got her eight inches. All right, what do we do next, Christian? All right, next up, we're going to carefully put the tape on the side of the bottle and try to line up that first marking you made as best as you can with the water line. So here I am bent down as... The first one or the, the, the bottom of the tape, we match it up with the water? Yes, the bottom okay. of the tape, yeah, whatever is, you know, your base there. And there we go, we've taped that on. I made my tape a little long. I did but as that's well. That's okay. It's okay because you can just fold it in and yep. reuse. And there we reuse. go. And guess what? That's more security for yep. the top of the bottle. So now it's nice and secure there. And so it should look like this. Something like this. Yeah, I didn't again I didn't put numbers on mine, but Emily's looks really nice. And you've got all your inch markings on there. And then you've got your rain gauge. So when it rains outside, of course it'll be above the zero line, it will fill up. Let's say, you know, we get two inches of rain. Mm -hmm. It'll be two inches higher than this. And then after each rain, you can empty it out. Remember to fill up enough water for it to be right at that zero line. So that way, you know, it'll be accurate again the next time you use it, the next time it rains. So look at that, in five minutes, Emily. So We easy. made a perfect, easy little rain gauge using a two liter, some rocks, a ruler, some tape, and of course, some water as well. Would so, you like to test it? Yes, let's test it, all Under right. the camera, I'll do yours, ready? So all imagine right. this is the rain that we're getting. Yes, that's right, from our nor'easter the next couple of days. Here we all go, right. if it works. Here we go, boom, nice. look at that. So it'll pour in really nicely, it'll go down through the top of the bottle, and it'll in fill up in the funnel. And there we go, look at that. We've gotten uh, right around, that's about, about an, an inch, inch of rain. So yeah, super fun. You know, maybe yep. do this when you're stuck inside, you know, a little bit bored when we're getting all this uh, not so nice weather. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can measure the rain yourself in your own backyard. Or even at indoor recess. Thanks Christian for that's showing right. us. And hopefully you can do this at home as well.